This is level three DIY, making subjects and verbs agree. You need a highlighter and a pen. Okay, so let's start at the beginning. It says, the subject and verb of a sentence must agree in number. That means a noun that is singular, meaning one, must have the singular form for the verb. A noun that is plural takes the plural form of the verb. Okay. So our example is right here. We have an example of a singular, an example of a plural. So it says, a, a cat sleeps during the day. A cat means one. So our verb is sleeps. Our second example, cats sleep during the day. Cats is more than one. So our verb is sleep. Okay, so our exercise. So draw two lines under the verb in parentheses that agrees with the subject. I'm going to do one through four with you. Number one, television brings or bring the world into our homes with pictures or video and sound or audio. Okay, so television, there's only one. It's singular, so we need to pick the singular verb, which is bring. Number two, the electronic television imaging device was invented or were invented in the 1920s. We have one device. So we need the singular verb, which is was. Number three, the first practical TV system was demonstrated or were demonstrated at the New York World's Fair in 1939. We have one system, so we need to pick the singular, which is was demonstrated. Number four, early television sets was or were crude black and white models. We have more than one sets, so that means we need to pick the plural form, which is were. Go ahead and complete five through 12 and then flip to the back. Okay, so up at the top, this is subject pronouns and verb agreement. Okay, so our subject pronouns are I, you, he, she, it, we, and they. They must also agree with the verb. So I is one, so our, our verb has to be singular. You is, is singular, so our verb has to be singular. We is plural, so our verb has to agree. The verbs that are have, do, and be can be main verbs or helping verbs. They must agree with the subject whether they are used as main verbs or helping verbs. Okay, exercise one says draw two lines under the verb in parentheses that agrees with the subject. I'm going to do one through five with you. Number one, before beginning to eat, they thanks their hostesses or they thank their hostesses. 
they is plural, so we need to pick the plural verb, which is think. Number two, we always has to wait or have to wait for and to arrive. We is plural, we need to pick the plural verb. Number three, she is planning or she are planning to read Little Women this summer. She is singular, so we need to pick the singular verb. Number four, on the top shelf, you find the basket or you find the basket. You is singular, so we need to pick our singular verb. Number five, it is obvious or it are obvious that the picnic will have to be postponed. It is singular, so we need to pick our singular verb. Make sure your name's on the paper, complete 6 through 15, and turn it into the basket.